from largest diamond found in Botswana. What? <laughs> to present Ruto clapping back. This road was promised has not been built. That road is ongoing. Is the justice system broken? <laughs> What's happening in Nairobi Langata? Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show New Train. I'm your host of the day and my name is Elvis Derry. After Mora Kebaso went to Isiolo County to reveal to us ghost projects, the level 5 hospital about the mortuary and also the, 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 uh, the uh, Isiolo County government headquarters that was allocated millions but yet there was nothing to show about it. Even the stadium in Isiolo, uh, Morara Kebaso went to reveal to us these ghost projects. But the Isiolo County government officials decided to clap back and this is what they say to say. Take a look. There is no money that is lost in this stadium. Okay, I'm to mend around. This construction should even actually even have costed over over 500 million. But so far, we have only paid to that one, and the contract to that one million, and the contract sum is 345. The enemy of this government has been going around circulating the wrong information concerning the stadium. That uh, at the semi stadium there is corruption in the construction. We are doing our work professionally. The governor is very particular and very concerned about this stadium and for the best interest of the Sioux people and the youth of this county. So to the county government of Isiolo, how can you prove to us that Morara Kebaso was lying? But yet even your, in your own county, the county government headquarters, which was allocated 870 million, has not yet been finished. The money has been stolen. Let us just speak the truth, right? So how can you prove to us that Morara was lying? You are the one who is lying. And you're trying to cover up for your own mistakes. We Kenyans, when you go there to Isiolo, when we see what we see there, when we see the ghost projects, it's quite different from what you are saying. You should be ashamed of yourself. The enemy of this government has been going around circulating the wrong information concerning the stadium. That uh, at the same stadium, there is corruption. Not only the officials of the Isiolo County government decided to lie to us and cover up for their mistakes and clapping back to Morara Kabaso, even the president of Kenya, President Ruto, decided to clap back and this is what he had to say. So that conversation as to this road was promised has not been built, that road is ongoing, but slowly that road is going on well. That conversation about issues development in our country is a very very positive conversation it is the conversation that i always wanted kenya to have not a conversation about our ethnicities or our differences in religion or other sectar sectarian interest i am very proud that we are having as a country the right conversation. The Kenyan people are already frustrated by the level of corruption that is going on in this country, in all the counties in Kenya. Even prophetess Ayo decided to come and prophesize to the Kenyans and this is what she had to say about the set funerals that is coming in this country. Listen to this. I am prophetess Ayo and I'm bringing you a special message, a package on how 
Kenya will undergo shortly the state funerals that await. The first state officer will enter the comfort of his office with zeal and energy to do his work. But shortly after he's seated, the author of the oxygen in the nostril will disconnect it and he will be pronounced dead then and there seated on his chair. The second officer will be up and about on his duties going about but he will be airborne in the aircraft. But that aircraft will crash and everyone and everything inside it will be reduced to ashes. Nothing will be found. The third officer will be in the comfort of his own home, in the comfort of his own bed sleeping, but him, he will not see the light of the day. The author of oxygen will call, cut it off. Him and his sibling, because how much has defiled himself with the idols. The idol will seep his blood, he will be pronounced dead in the morning. The, mess, the essence of this is nothing happened before God reveals to his messengers, I am your messenger. And the purpose of this is to prepare you that after the state funeral, where will you go? Hell? Heaven? The decision is yours to make because I've already called you to come for repentance. And I've already also given you opportunity to appeal. The world is prepared and Kenyans be prepared. So Kenyans, what happens when your leaders are corrupt? When there's too much corruption in this country, when there's no development, no job opportunities, nothing is going on in this country. Even the people themselves, they'll become corrupt and find other ways to survive. Just watch and listen uh, uh, of this story of how this lady in Langata Road, how she was robbed while she was going back home. Listen to this. Kuna Nissan iko na dereva na kodakta wake na iko na mademu wawili. Mmepanda hiyo gari hapo mbere nikakaa hapo mbere. Huyo kodakta anafungua mlango. Ananiambia angalia hiyo mlango yako inafunguka. Nika akaniambia tufunge hiyo mlango. Hebu chukua simu yako unimulikie. Nikachukua simu yangu. Kuchukua simu yangu nikamumulikia. Kumumulikia kaniambia hebu weka hiyo simu hapo chini ushikilie mlango na mikono yote mbili tufunge. Tumengangana kufunga hiyo mrango, tumengangana nga kufungua hiyo mrango, mrango waifungiki. Sasa kido kidogo mimi, nikasikia uro imekata kufanya Kenya na niambia. Kwenda kujipendua hivi, napata dereva mkono yake iko kwa bagi yangu. Kaya nikashuka, sasa venya nimeshuka, kido kidogo sasa de, uyu kondakta wake ananishauti. We chukua, we chukua hii nini, mrango juu ni kufungia ama uanguke na huko chini. Hai nikamuambia we. Ebu wachana na hii mrango juni mi nimeka hapa wachana na ayo mi nitaenda hivyo. Sasa kuenda hivyo nikaarakisha kuchukua simu yangu. Dereva na ya likuwa ya mearakisha kunyorosha mkona yake mahali nikuwa nimeeka simu. Lakini bati mzuri ya mambaya mi nikachukua raka, nikachukua simu yangu. Kuchukua simu yangu, sahi sasa venye tunaenda kidogo kidogo hivi. Uyo kodati akasimamisha hiyo nini? Akasimamisha gani? Akasimamisha gari akaniambia hebu shuka shuka hapa na mahali wameniweka by the way you see kwa saa hii saa hii ni usiku hata mkiangalia niko kwa barabara si unaona niko kwa barabara wameniweka hapa hapa langata primary hapo hapo ndio wamenishikishia mujia dhari na hiyo gari na hiyo gari saa hii bado inazunguka inaenda hata mimi nimesimama hapa na ongoja gari nione kama nitapata gari ya kunipeleka home Hawa watu ni waizi. Venye roho yangu imekatana nikashuka. Alafu nikaharakisha nika kuchukua simu yangu na yeye dereva alikuwa anaharakisha kuchukua simu yangu. Imagine wameniambia nishuke kwa hiyo gari. Nikashuka. Baadaye wameendelea na safari. But nimemark number plate yao. Nimemark hiyo number plate ya hiyo gari. The level of corruption in this country. Hmm. Even the citizens are not spared by it. And let me tell you guys Ladies and gentlemen, I have also experienced the same thing that this lady has experienced. And let me just explain to you guys in Swahili. And let me just tell you what really happened that day. So, hiyo time na kumbuka, ilikuwa hizo time za COVID-19, time ya makafiu. So, time ilikuwa nimeenda Megori County, nimeenda kufilm, mepiga content yangu safi, manzeni, laptop yangu imejaa content. Mingi sana. 
So kufika Nairobi nimefika hapo kitu kama kutoka Migori, uh, nitoka asubuhi nikafika majioni ma late night. So hapo nikafika kitu kama ma 9 pm, 10 pm hapo Nairobi. Nikashukisha hapo hivyo Kenyatta Hospital. And at that time niona bahati sana nipata hapo matatu. Kumbe matatu siko najua hiyo matatu ni yawe, ni yawezi. So kamesimamisha matatu nikamwambia, "Eh hey, cheki, mimi nataka kushia home. Mnabeba?" Akasema, "Eh hey, nabeba." Yo makanga kaniambia, makanga kaniambia ti, kako mbele na nani ni kako mbele na dere. Sami nikaenda kakako mbele na nani na dere. Afi kwa maradu kukwana watu angapi, watu wane. Four people. Kulikuwa na driver, kulikuwa na tumbaba za mekapo kando yangu, makanga alafu kukwana demoja, hamewewe kwenyuma kabisa. Sami so, kukwana nani, kiasi kiasi, makanga naniambia u, makanga meka nyuma yangu. Kwa hiyo kiteka makanga, na meka nyuma yangu, naniambia ti, uwe kijana bana, hii hi, kame mlaweku ikona shida, ibu jebu kuifunga. So mimi najabu kufunga funga mlango. Mind you value yako gari si kutoa bag. Bag yangu ilikuwa nyuma ya mgongo yangu. So bag ilikuwa nimekaa kwa kiti, bag iko nyuma. So mimi najaribu kuangana na fungo na kufunga mlango. Kumbe the same time, o majambazi, o wezi, o ma sasa kusema vitu mbaya hapa hivi. O ma ngombe wanafungua bag yangu, wanatoa laptop yangu, MacBook Pro. Like yo laptop nilingangana sana kuibuy. That, that was my first MacBook Pro ever pato kanibia so mimi fala mimi fala mimi ngombe na nangangana kufunga mlango nangangana kufunga mlango kumbe bag yangu inafunguliwa na tolewa bag rafiki sasa anaambia ti bu eh ukasimisha gari akaniambia ti shuka kiasi tunataka kuangalia mlango kuna shida gani so mimi nikashuka mimi kushuka tu hivi tu no sooner had i than kushuka kwa hiyo gari waka speed over kaenda na, na laptop yangu so mimi natembea na shangaa mbona watu wameenda kwa nini wamechizi nini mimi kufanya fanya hivi bag yangu na shangaa mbona hii bag iko light hivi Kufanya tu hivi kuipendoa kutoka kwa mgongo kuangalia kufungua ndani. Yo. <laughs> na wala laptop yangu imeenda MacBook Pro. My first MacBook Pro nilingangana na suti yangu, jasho yangu, machozi yangu, damu yangu kubai. Ndio imeenda na majambazi wa Nairobi. Like I was so disappointed. Kama nimepata mawe hapo karibu, aki walai <laughs> ningetupa hiyo mawe kwa hiyo gari na ipasi hizo hiyo. So nawaambia like the level of thievery, tagari, uwezi wenye mbeje ni Nairobi. Thanks to kufundishwa na our corrupt politicians imejaa sana. Kenyans, where are we heading to as a country? This is so sad. Ah watu ni waizi. Wenye roho yangu imekataa na nikashuka. Alafu nikaharakisha kuchukua simu yangu na yeye dereva alikuwa anaharakisha kuchukua simu yangu. Imagine wameniambia nishuke kwa hiyo gari. A few days ago, Senator Onyonka went to Jekwa University and he decided to inject and just opening the people's eyes and showing the Kenyans and the students that how rich this country is and the potential we have as a country. Listen to what Senator Onyonka had to say about this. Kenya has enough money to provide free health, free education, free water. When President Kebaki took over his revenue in this country, which he collected was 710 billion shillings his first his, his second year by his third year when he was going to his second term by the time he was having the coalition government he was at 1.3 trillion that is revenue he collected uhuru kenyatta came he picked from where kibaki left he pushed the money to about 2.7 2.5 trillion then he got out but what uhuru did he made sure we've borrowed 7 trillion shillings in 10 years and that is where our money is going to pay the debts. My argument is very simple. We have enough money. You don't have to task anybody. Change what we are doing because we are doing it badly. We are doing it. The system has deliberately been broken so that you cannot understand what they are talking about. Last point. Kenya is a capitalistic system that encourages and allows corruption to thrive. Mm. Our universities which used to be the echelons of excellence and intellectual capacity has become the trading markets where degrees are sold, where food can be provided for, where the people who are lecturing are the ones who supply food and equipment and stuff to the university. I mean, these things, you know them. Senator, Senator, excuse me. So my argument, no, Sami, yeah, is just hold on, Senator, we reduce on. and stop the corruption we rebudget the money and make sure two, three hundred billion goes to taking all these university students and secondary school students for free. To be honest, I will support Senator Onyonka in this. 
Let us reduce the corruption because the level of corruption in this country is on a different level. It is on a high level that man, it, it, it has to reduce. Let us take a short break. We're going to be right back. This man is awesome. Oh my god. Let's welcome a brusky Albis Deli. Mbere North Member of Parliament, Geoffrey Ruku Kiringa. He's always on TV every day talking about controversial bills. But yet if you go to his constituency, it speaks something different. This is crazy. Just take a look. That our ward. This is a very dangerous bridge. This bridge reminds me of a bridge Irikua ya Kie. The bridge is so narrow na imekulika yote. Like if you look at this is me who just passed through here. I have a small vehicle. But Nguya Gariangu ilikuwa hapa. Hapa. And then I mean, we are just waiting for something to happen. How rich is Kenya and how rich is Africa as a whole? Take a look at this video all the way from Botswana, where the president of Botswana, Mogwitsi Masisi, showing off the second largest diamond in the world. Take a look. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, this, this, this material is not in. These stones will be coming closer to these in terms of the color. I see. All right. Yes. <laughs> oh, you just want my face hidden, eh? <laughs> it's the largest stone recovered in the world through a processing plant. So it's the second in, largest in the world because of the Kalanen. So our stones or, or our diamonds go through a processing plant. It was recovered in the mega diamond recovery. Hey. This shows you how rich and blessed we are as Africans. So, my fellow Africans, just for a second, just imagine if we were the United States of Africa. We were one nation, one people. We would be benefiting from our own resources if we never had these corrupt and pathetic leaders that we have in our continent. Muammar Gaddafi, who was assassinated and killed by the enemies of Africa, the enemies of prosperity, he had this vision of liberating Africa to be one. Look at how rich we are. Imagine if we were all benefiting from all these resources. Even you don't have to go to other countries to look for jobs and get frustrated there and some of us come back home in caskets dead this is exciting and also sad at the same time because we are not the ones who are benefiting from this gold and these diamonds these oils and all other resources but is the enemies of africa but i believe i believe one day 
Muammar Gaddafi's dream will come to pass. We are all one people. It doesn't matter which country you're coming from in Africa. It doesn't matter what language you speak. It doesn't matter what tribe or what food or your belief. It doesn't matter your religion. We are all one people. And I personally, Elvis Derry, I advocate for the liberation of Africa. At that time, it will come. It is just around the corner. <laughs> Kenyans have not only been occupying but they have also been rejecting since day one. Take a look at this video of this man who went to work but in a construction site but he wore a UDA uh, that is President Ruto's party. He went with this shirt but the people there were, uh, they were not amused and they asked him to remove that shirt. Take a look. Una unakuja aje kuna t-shirt ya UDA toa hiyo kitu bana. Hiyo kitu toa man. Hapana man, hapana hiyo kitu toa. Man toa hiyo kitu man. Amewa mutoke huku. Ah bana. Ya. Man toa hiyo kitu. Toa hiyo kitu tukachoe man. Do you guys remember of this video of this JSS teacher who was being frustrated? I'm telling you, you cannot join the staff room. Can you give me the chair, Gwanda? Just tell me. I'm not Milaro Kodo. Give me the chair. Go. Just try to do, do I'm anything. I'm not Milaro Kodo. I do it, Gwanda. Yeah. Whether you are using the phone or what. Mm. Where are you guys? Oh, with it, with it. No, don't push me. Don't push me. This is the same situation to many other GSS teachers who are still suffering under this corrupt regime. 18.7 billion was allocated to them but currently is nowhere to be seen. This is what Morara Kebaso Senior, inject party leader, had to say about this. Papa Lo President de la Officer Day promised JSS teachers, 46,000 of them, that he has set aside 18.7 billion to hire them on permanent basis. To date, JSS teachers have not been hired on permanent basis. They are still being paid a stipend of 17,000. And this useless teacher service commission does not understand that it is an independent institution under the constitution. How does a minister walk around with the TSC letters in a funeral? Alito Awapi? Then that same useless TSC is the one that is firing 742 teachers. JSS teachers, 742. Atiju Walienda could demand for better pay. I want to assure this government that their days are numbered. Mukifika 2027, Nibaati. Mugifika 2027 ni bahati. Mi am here. Niko hapa ndani ya musitu. I'm looking for illegal mining. Kuna illegal mining inaendelea huko ndani ya musitu. Since the protest started, young youth in this country, the Gen Zs, they have been targeted. Some of them have died, abducted, and some of them have missed since today. Take a look at this video of how this young Gen Z was being mistreated, mishandled, and how he was being arrested by this uh, officers, take a look. Oh, that's a 
sasa watu kama hapo watu kama watu wanafaa kutulinda watu kama hapo wanafaa kutulinda watu kama nyinyi wanafaa mtulinde this is really insane every day when i wake up in the morning the first question i ask myself where are we heading towards a country because the things i see happening in this country is just unbelievable so if you have the right answer of where are we heading towards a country tell us in the comments down below my name is elvis derry this is show you train and see you guys in the next episode Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye.